And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday Night Spice stream. I hope everyone is doing well. It's been a pretty great week, um, and I hope all of you are having a good time tonight. Thank you all so very much for joining me this evening as we continue with some more Dragon Age Inquisition. And Rosen Online, thank you so much for continuing uh, your subscription that was gifted from, uh, by Night Kaleju. Thank you so, so much for your support. I, it's great to hear that you're having a good time with us, and thank you. It really means a lot. Alrighty. So, where we last left off, we were mostly doing um, stuff for our uh, companions. And uh, last time we did a lot of things for Josephine because she is flawless and wonderful and we love her um so let's head to the war table and make sure everyone is out uh doing their homework oh what's down there i don't think this is to the war room is it that seems new has that always always been there we'll have a look at that in a second okay let me just double check who we have to send off or who we have to prioritize so there's josephine's there's cullen's uh, we could also do this one for Varric. And that one as well. So I think we could take care of those ones now at the war table. Um, but I do remember we were going to go to the western approach and try and continue a little bit more of the main quest as well. And hey Sahil, how's it going? I hope everyone is doing good tonight. Hayden, welcome back. Good to see you. Anna Banana, how's it going? Salva Holder, Hewan, great to see everyone. Alrighty. Power for a price. A formal document with impeccable filigree. The Inquisition is a sight to behold, a command of legions, hearts and minds. It is worthy, your Inquisitor is worthy, and my masters are pleased. I will bring my wares, and together we will extend your reach ever further. Now you trade not just in treasures, but in will. The esteemed Ferris, the representative. Hell yeah. Ask you about the Fussmax. Uh, that was the one for Cullen. Okay, that one requires specifically Josephine. So let's have a look at the others first. Before we do that. Identify Venatori agent. An excerpt from a Ben Hasrath inform information report. The target was eliminated, and as expected, all other targets went into hiding. Duke Thytus did not locate our operatives during his search. Information the Duke found on the corpse revealed the smuggler's Venatori involvement. Duke Tithus has cut off trade with the Tevinta Imperium and is thoroughly investigating his city. Hunterfell is no longer subject to venatory influence. Per his request, Operative Iron Bull will receive further intelligence reports to continue his efforts. Supplies from Sarahan have also been dispatched. Excellent. And Josephine. Oh, this was Josephine's one. So this one we have successfully completed. Josh the Dark Lord, how's it going? Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. It is your first time here with us, and I hope you have a wonderful time. Take a seat and enjoy yourself. And James, how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, letters to... Oh, is this in Josephine's voice? No, it isn't. Otherwise, I would have read it in Josephine's voice. Letter to uh, Countess Dion. My dearest Lynette, I was injured on the way back from the Conclave when the insane war erupted between the Apostates and the Templars. I made it to a decrepit inn just before the gash on my leg turned into a fever. Fortunately, when the Inqui Inquis uh, Inquisition's uh, people found me, they sent for a proper healer. I owe them my life, I'm certain. I told the Inqui Inquisition will deliver this letter to you, which is the first piece of mine I've had since the Conclave. Stay in the capital, my love, until I can come to you. Yours always, Ella Lee. Alright, so I believe that is... Josephine's done. Where is Sarah's? It's like, make a... Is it this one? Oh, this is it. Perfect. Commander, we have verified Sarah's claims about uh, Verkiel. Several displacements of refugees were deliberate in what appears to be an attempt to destabilize land, land claims. Itachi, how's it going? Thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you are welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Take a seat and enjoy yourself. Yes, James, there are Templars in this game. 
Although we're more focusing on the mage side of things with this particular run, but honestly, if you want to explore this game thoroughly and get to know more about the Templars, I highly pe uh, recommend picking up a copy for yourself. Hey, Flyboy, how's it going? Just finished dealing with some squadron drama and finally filling out the form. I can go to my sister's wedding in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's awesome! Is this game by the same uh, company as Resident Evil? No, it is not. Uh, this is by Bioware. And um, uh, Resident Evil, uh, that franchise, is done by a different company. Uh, we have verified Sarah's claims about Vercule. Several displacements of refugees were deliberate in what appears to be an attempt to destabilize land claims. While there would be no direct gain for involving the Inquisition, increasing our presence would have unexpected results. In any case, it is a trivial matter to divert troops to march through the city. From Lieutenant SCL, a rich tune of our best will make an impression. Hell yes. To work. And where is that one for Cullen? Finding Samson's weakness. And we send Josephine for that one. The red lyrium is very strange. How Samson's armor hasn't killed him, I don't know. I can find out, but it'll be time and money. Tools, tests, and some books I remember from a circle or two. And they aren't stolen or buried. Oh, sorry, burned. In which case, I'll need to write them. And ink isn't cheap. From Dagna. With the right investment, nothing is beyond our reach. Let us begin. All right, now we need something from Liliana. Um, I saw this uh, was something for Varric. Why don't we ask her to do that? Yes, perfect. Liliana, heard you little birdies have had recent success picking up shiny things for the Inquisition. Maybe you can help me out. One of the apprentice smiths saw me walking by with my Bianca, and we struck up a conversation. The apprentice said he once met him for a uh, for Mari mage named Provident, who had ideas for improving the precision of siege engines, and wondered if they could be adapted for Bianca. And then he got uh, into phrases like recoil dampening and rectilin. Uh, rectilin. Give me a second. Rectilinear? Rectilinear. I'm sure that's wrong, sorry. Motion. And I politely excused myself. Could you tell your magpies to keep an eye out for Provident or his designs? Obviously, I don't have troubles with Bianca's accuracy, but she does like it when Daddy gets her new fittings. <laughs> From Varric. Oh, Varric, it is a crime that we haven't been able to romance you yet. Hmm. Oh, and a banana. It's all good. It's all good. And yes, Resident Evil is made by Capcom. Uh, Sahil, do you have a question for me? I'm not in as the Reverend this evening, but I might be able to answer it nonetheless. I could certainly tell my agents to look out for this providence, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Since the Major Rebellion, so many have been killed or lost. I wouldn't hold my breath for their designs either. Let's see what we have. Julian Depp, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales. You are welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Take a seat and enjoy yourself. We have just sent everyone off to go do their homework uh, while I go running around the wilds a bit more. Varric's one true love is Bianca. Yes. That is very fair. That is very fair. Uh, okay, what do we have to do for Josephine's? Uh, speak with Con uh, Comtesse Dion in Valroyal. Uh, what is the thing for the main quest at the moment? Need all the out of the Western Bridge. Let's save that for a little bit later. Let's warm up this evening with some more um, lighter quests. Actually, can I speak to Josephine before we go to Valroyal? Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakas to Lordship? We need a judge of the royal court to procure documents acknowledging them as nobility again. Okay. So that's another one that we need to do. Uh, but we also need to speak with Countess Dion in Val Royal. Oh, and thank you for the stretch check, Hayden. Oh. I'm not sure if you heard that. That was my neck. It's fine. It just, um... It just took me a bit off guard. I need to do yoga. Oh god. I wonder if that picked up on mic. Because it was like a full snap, crackle and pop up my neck. Ah, this is the dungeons maybe? Or is this a secret room? For secret 
secret things. Ooh. Secret room for secret things? Uh, How to Act for Elton by esteemed Lady Sidonia. I'd like to take full responsibility for Lady Marshallette's odd behaviour of late. You see, we recently began the study of history. I thought that it would do the young mistress some good to be exposed to all the uh, Theodosian cultures and not just Orlais. It was a foolish thought. Regrettably, your dear daughter has taken a particular interest in Ferelden folklore. She first developed an affinity for King Callanhead, which seems to have devolved into borderline infatuation. She stared at me, eyes wide, when I told her how he unified the barbarians with his allegedly incomparable might and charisma. Every time I tried to move the lesson on to something more important, she insisted I tell her again about Callanhead. How the Ferelden's say his hair was twice as yellow as the sun, and his chin more chiseled than the tallest peak in the Frostmax. Twice now I've had to tear down drawings she's tacked up in her bedroom of the man shirtless. <laughs> when we moved on to werewolves, which was even worse. As you may already know, the Ferelden's venerate the folks, folk heroes Dane and Hafter. Dane was said to have been a werewolf, and Hafter to have descended from one. No enlightened man or woman could ever view such beast people with anything but revulsion. But you know Ferelden's and their love of wildlife. Unfortunately, these tales of the wolfman set the little mistress's imagination afire. When she suggested we put on a play for uh, you and her lord, lord father, I could not say no. I'm afraid that's why Marshallette was running through the mansion, wearing wet furs and frightening the chambermaids. She was rehearsing a scene in which Hafter drives back the darkspawn. I have been informed that some priceless family heirlooms were destroyed amidst all that confusion, and I cannot fully dis express my dismay. I understand if my abject failure as a tutor results in my immediate dismissal. A letter from B Brother Bernard to his former employer. Oh, she sounds like a hoot. Oh, she sounds wonderful. But this looks like a secret room of secret things that I would love to hang out in. Okay, I'm going to have a look around at some of these and just see if they're just as funny as that one. That noise was as loud as a baguette being torn in half. Oh, honestly, it took me back. It, that really took me by surprise because I, I regularly try and stretch like throughout the day just to get up from my desk and like walk around a bit and like stretch things out. But if there's like some place that I've neglected to like flex properly or like move it in just the right way, you just like, just get that nice crack or like good baguette crust when you just go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, and a banana. Um, uh, Feel free to ask a question if you have one. Uh, Sahil, why did the series go on an indefinite hiatus? It was just beginning to pick up steam. Um, I believe you're referring to... Uh, Behind Heaven's Veil. Um, uh, some complicated reasons. I won't go into the details of it, but one of the guest stars, uh, the guest voices that I had on that series, um, uh, did some truly abhorrent things. And is also the same reason why my Lovecraftian ASMR tale is currently set to private. Um, and that series was put on an indefinite hiatus because he was originally a featured voice actor in the most recent chapter. One of the most recent chapters. So I set the, that chapter and the chapter after it to private out of respect uh, for those who are impacted by him. But understandably... Um, it's really kind of turned my stomach about the whole thing. So one day I might be able to continue it, but just not yet. I just do not feel comfortable returning to that series just yet because I'll have to go back and recast and re-edit the chapter he was in. And I do not feel comfortable with that yet. So I won't talk any further on that subject, but hopefully that answers your question. Um... All right, the folly of General Not Sheraton. Five, in the days that followed, to avoid scandal, the appointing of Not Sheraton was claimed a grand tactic of the true general who must have orchestrated the whole affair from secret. From secret, meaning the cloakroom, for not even his own attendants knew his face, um, and they would have had the guards, guard whisk him to jail for trespassing. But with his mask restored and wary of the embarrassment, the general was merciful, but with Not Sheraton, imposing less than, less than half of the prescribed lashes and sparing her and her lord the gallows. They were not allowed to leave or lay in the condition that Not Sheraton was henceforth her name. Alright, I'll leave the rest of these books for now. We might come down here later. 
Uh, Anna Manana, good question. Is there going to be another video of Moth Girl and Orc Warrior? Um, yes and yes. I have uh, maybe one or two chapters planned for Tangled in the Monstrous Wilds, which is the Dryder Queen. I can store an army. Hell yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, there's maybe one or two chapters left of Tangled in the Monstrous Wilds, but I'm just kind of seeing how that goes. But yeah, after uh, the Orc uh, one with Glasha the Greenfire, who I absolutely love so much, um, after that blew up a lot bigger than I anticipated or expected, Absolutely, I'm doing a second part, and it might be coming out sooner than you realize. Yet another note from the kitchen. How many times do I have to say this? If it falls to the floor, it's still good to eat. Thanks. Good to know. Uh, note from the Skyhawk kitchens. Request for supplies. Potatoes, flour, dried peas, salted meat, willow switches. for to break in the new kitchen hands. Oh, Sahil, it's totally fine. It's just um, a difficult topic of uh, conversation for me, but I just try to put it as succinctly as uh, possible because I did get a lot of questions about it. So, no worries at all. And hey, how's it going, Medloid man? Note from the Skyhawk Kitchens again. If I ever find out who put the turnips in the fireplace, I'll personally feed them into the meat grinder. Another note from the Skyhawk Kitchens. Once again, please keep the elf out of the kitchen and check the sugar daily to make sure it's still sugar and not salt. Sarah! Sarah, have you been fucking around again? Uh, beneath this retter is, try keeping this out, followed by an arrow pointing towards a crude drawing of a phallus. Yep. That's Sarah. Hayden. Oh. You, you wound me. You wound me, sir. I am just simply listening to the demands of my lovely lost tales, the pleading, trembling requests, and I am occasionally letting them sway my generous, articulate heart. And maybe I just like making people happy and giving them what they want. But not always. You have to earn it. Hi Spartacus, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Uh, this week has been a little low, low over the place for me, but I'm doing better. I'm glad it's almost the weekend. News from Thetis. Empress Selene, unconquered. Empress Selene has proven beyond uh, doubt that she is the rightful ruler of Orlais. The usurper, Grand Duke Gaspard de, de, uh, de Chalons, met his downfall in Halam Shirel, heralding the end of the War of the Lions. With Gaspard defeated, the Empress's reign will continue, unchallenged, as she carries Orlais into the Golden Age. Or hail Selene, long may she reign. Uh, cry Bel uh, Belia Belinus? Belinus. And then Haven destroyed by Darkest Menace. Dire news from the Frostbax. The Pilgrim Sanctuary of Haven, home of the New Inquisition, has been destroyed. Information is still vague, but some believe a dragon resembling an archdemon was involved in the attack. Fears of a new blight are now beginning to surface. As the Chantry continues to flounder, some are concerned that Haven's, sorry, Haven's destruction may pre predict the Inquisition's imminent collapse. However, there is yet hope as reports indicate that the Herald of Andraste and Inquisition leadership survived and have found refuge elsewhere. All right, so. Mm -hmm. Why don't we wait until we've got some more uh, space on the war table and then we can do the next step in that request just in case we have to go to Val Royal to speak to two people and then it saves us time having to go back and forth. But why don't we... Okay, that one's good... That one's good. Gigush, how's it going? Welcome to the Pluros Respite. Thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you are welcome at the Pluros Respite anytime. Alrighty, why don't we do this one? For Varric, shall we? Because we love Varric. Alrighty, let's grab Dorian, Varric, and Iron Bull. Because they're awesome. I love them. 
Oh, and thank you for the hydrate check, Hayden. Mm -mm. Thank you, thank you. Do, do, do. What's the hardest series of characters you've ever done? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, I don't really know. Like, because there's voices that are ch somewhat challenging to do. Inquisitor. Um, but I think maybe the story that I had the most challenging process with. Not including stuff like, um, Behind Heaven's Veil, vale, which is complicated for other reasons. I don't know, because I don't really write a script unless, like, I feel like I've got a really, really good idea for one. Um, I think maybe the most challenging one that I can think of is doing, uh, Video 3, the third one, um in the Dryder series, which kind of turned into the Dryder series. Because at first it was just going to be like maybe a couple of one shots and then it kind of evolved into a series from there. But the one that was primarily dealing with um, uh, using a safe word and the aftercare, I did have to do a good amount of research to look into what uh, healthy um, good methods of aftercare are for people who do uh, use rope work and shibari. So that was challenging because I wanted to get it uh, still keeping it in the uh, atmosphere and like still keep it as part of the story without making it too step by step for lack of a better word and make it feel nice and natural and comforting while still um, keeping the flow of it engaging and all that but I was I was worried that I wouldn't be able to execute it quite right um, and uh, it wouldn't feel quite right, but a lot of people seem to really enjoy it, so I'm delighted for that. Julian Death, thank you so much. Hey, just want to stop by and follow you. Your audios are really great. I have to go now, but I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. I really hope you're able to make it to a stream in the future. Merrick, can you open the door? Varric, open the open the door, please. Veronica, open the door. I know, Hayden. It still blows my mind that I'm almost at 30k on YouTube, because that just my Orc Warrior video just like kind of blew up unexpectedly, and I'm just like, what? Oh, oh, that's a, that's a lot of people. Oh, that. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely, like, flabbergasted, it's, but it's just like, that's a lot of people. And you're all wonderful. Oh, thank you so much, Flyboy. And thank you so much, Anna. Oh, Hayden, don't get me started. I fucking love Heathers. Like, the original movie and the musical as well. Um... It's on in the West End, but I haven't had the chance to see it. Merrick, can you open this for me, or can you not? Hmm. Because I think there's some, like, other stuff up here. That's also... Uh, some Dwarven ruins. So why don't we have a quick look up here first? Yeah, there's this area first that I think we probably best look at just in case then you can find a key in there that leads to the other ruins because that feels like we need a key or something like that or you need a specific quest in order to unlock that come on oh Anna thank you so much um I'm Australian uh but I live in the UK so my accent is a mix between uh, Aussie and uh, English, I think. It's it's all over the place, but honestly, I'm I'm really glad that people like my natural accent. Because especially as a voice actor, like I can do different accents and different voices, but when you get cast for the most of your roles by just speaking in your natural accent, it just feels honestly, it feels amazing. Yeah. 
Um, I will say maybe um, we'll slow down the questions just a little bit just because it makes it a little bit tricky to kind of focus on the game and questions at the same time and then also you can save all of your wonderful questions for when I host my next Q&A which will probably be very soon considering I'm almost at 30k subs on YouTube. Uh, but still, I will answer your question just quickly. Man, do I play mythical characters in ASMR tales? Not saying I don't love them, but just curious. Um... I like writing fantasy stories. Um, I like writing... I'm, I'm not so... I, I don't know. I've always written fantasy stories. Um, so I like the escapism of uh, ASMR. And I like writing little self-contained stories. Like, originally I would write long, super long series. Uh, well, not super long, but multi-chapter ASMR stuff. Like, um, The Castle of Blue Roses, and uh, Lost in the Inferno, etc, etc. But then I started trying to get into, like, self-contained stories, and then just focusing on those uh, instead, and I started to really like making those. Um, but I like the escapism of fantasy. I like that it just invokes the imagination in so many ways. Yeah, it's, it's just down to like personal preference because I know there's a lot of people out there who make um, uh, ASMR stories that are more like uh, set in the real world or have um, more down-to-earth situations like girlfriend role plays and stuff like that and I tried that for a bit uh, for a while I made that available as like a patreon thing I would do that I think I made those once a month but um, I don't know just I couldn't get into the flow of it in the same way that I like writing uh, fantasy stuff. Gigush, 30k, let's go! Absolutely! Okay, I'm going to defeat this Herlock, but then we might go to a different area, because to be honest, like... It's getting a little bit annoying. We're just going to find that doorway, and go through it. And if we're not able to find a key or something that'll unlock the other Dwarven Ruins, then I think we might go to another area. Finding a genre that you're passionate about can make a lot of difference, especially in saturated media. Speaking as a comic book artist. Oh, you're a comic book artist! That's fantastic! Uh, do you primarily focus on the uh, art and um, uh, that aspect, or are you also the writer as well? Okay, this looks promising. Morin steps. It is not uncommon to enter a cave nestled in the vassal columns of the Storm Coast and discover traces of ancient dwarven architecture. Prior to the First Age, the dwarven people maintained a sizable presence on the coast. Mining guilds were drawn to the area's then plentiful mineral deposits. All dwarven activities ceased when darkspawn incursions forced the deep roads to be sealed, severing the region from Orzammar. From the Storm Coast and its history by Brother Vincent, Chantry Scholar. Giant spiders. Okay. Come 
Cool, cool. Professionally only in the art, both on personal projects. Oh, that's awesome! But another thing I just thought of with, um... Uh, the question about why I like uh, write, writing fantasy or um, horror ASMR. Um, I think another big thing is because my primary career uh, that I'm working towards is being a voice actor full time. And so if I'm able to do uh, get a lot of practice with doing different sorts of voices uh, for different kinds of characters, like say... Uh, for example, like a vampire, an orc, a pixie, all of those require different um, expectations of how the voice will sound. So it gives me a lot of opportunity to also then like try and stretch those vocal muscles as it were. And uh, try and be as versatile as possible. Whereas say if I was going to be mostly focusing on uh, real world scenarios, I think I would start fall too easily into just kind of doing the same voice again and again and again. If that makes sense. And for clarification, in no way or shape or form am I speaking ill of people who make uh, that more real world scenarios. Um, for ASMR stories, not saying that in any way, it's just my personal preference as a content creator. I just prefer fantasy a bit more. Come on. Downstairs. Into the pit of spiders. Hey guys. Oh, Anna, thank you so much. <laughs> I know, I'm shocked I tried to use the ladder as well, just like, what was I thinking? It's just as easy to jump down. And I'm far more chaotic, I should have just jumped down. Okay. So, there was no key in that. Um, I might have to look up somewhere how to get into that. So let's go to another region. Let's go here because there's plenty of red lyrium scattered everywhere. Come on, guys. So, Hill, uh, your vocabulary is really rich. How do you make use of such rather unique words into your real conversation? Make friends with a thesaurus. Um, I'm also very, very lucky that I have been able to be um, given the opportunities to uh, study extensively. You may want to look into um, and, uh, the fact that I, I know I've said in the past, but I do have a bachelor's and a master's in creative writing and publishing. So having to read a lot, write a lot, and then in turn, like, find, uh, unique creative ways of expressing myself has given me quite an extensive vocabulary. I'm not saying that it's amazing, but I, I just like words and I like the way words sound and the way words, like, almost taste as you say them. Because that was one of the big things that I learned when, um, you're fine, uh, when I was studying poetry in university, uh, as one of my courses, we had a poetry course. And so one of the big things that they taught us was to pay attention to the way that words, um, how you experience words as you're saying them. Like, for poetry, because a lot of poems, it's more succinct. It's more about choosing the right words in the right order, just so, so that they have the emotional impact that you're um, hoping for. Is this it? Yeah, this feels right. Yep, this looks right. Um, 
so for me that's something i kept in mind why i tend to get why i tend to suck on fl platforms like twitter because i tend to try and like over articulate myself and i'm trying i i'm not as succinct as i would like to be but it's just because i like words i like words so much Mm-hmm. Iron Bull, can you destroy this for me? Come on. Okay. Perfect. That's one. Let's head up here. Do to do. Okay, which way? Um Inquisitor. Yes, that's me. I am Inquisitor. Nothing to report, sir. Good. That's what I like to hear. Everything is fine. Actually, Inquisitor, everything's on fire. Everything is fine. Okay, yes, this looks right. Although I do remember there was a dragon here. Can we avoid the dragon? I'm just gonna save quickly before I go further. Just, uh, just a hunch. Looks like dragon territory. Oh, this is gonna be good. Iron Ball, respectfully, can you please not be so horny about the dragons? Baron Alistair, thank you so much for the 20 month sub. Thank you so, so much. What's up in your house life? Life is going pretty good at the moment and I hope you're doing good as well. Thank you so much for the resub. Okay, guys, let's get you out of the fire. Okay, yes, it feels like at the end of this valley is where... What are they doing here? Very good question. Also, oh, hello, you're most welcome. I'm so glad that um, through my videos and streams you're able to further educate yourself. That's awesome. Red Lyria, maybe. Come on, guys, it's fine. You're only slightly on fire. There it is. <gasps> Garrod, we are learning with Stephanie. Learning about the ways of eloquence and using a thesaurus and speaking with purpose. I invoke, can you destroy this for me? You're the first! Alrighty. So, where's the next one? Ooh, it's down here. I'm actually... Just how strong is that dragon? And can we kill it? I have a feeling the answer is, uh, too strong and no. Where has it gone? Yep. We're not under attack, are we? Okay, fine. We might maybe slightly under attack. Hmm. 
Where is it? There it is. Okay. Hang on. So that is to attack. I just need to double check because you can click to check and see how strong it is. Oh, it's magnificent though. How, how strong is it though? It's level 12. We could take it. Oh, Garrett, good question. Uh, the Pick My Voice, uh, that runs for five minutes. And I just try my best. Mm -mm. Garrick. You need to heal first. Fuck it, let's try and kill our first dragon. And that's me down. Come on, Dorian, save me. Oh, we're not doing too bad. beautiful. The coloration on the scales is just... Ugh. Oh, we have a redeemed pick my voice. Saitao, it's time to show your power. Well, I can certainly oblige with that. All beasts fall before the Sapphire Queen. Especially pathetic, saffron-coloured imposters like this. Such beasts of flame all fall before lightning. Come now, don't be shy. Come on down and play. So perhaps there's more bite to this beast than I initially expected. Well, that's just rude. I was busy killing you. Why do you have to be so difficult? <laughs> Come now, beastie.
We were having so much fun. Say first shot there, you actually gonna come down here and play nice. seems to be doing surprisingly well for being such small and insignificant mortals. Oh now, almost got you. Why don't you come back down and face your death like a real man? Come nowhere, everyone. Take cover. We'll wait for this frustrating creature to come down from its perch. Where are the others? Well, that's just rude, isn't it? <laughs> Why don't we give that another try, shall we? Looks like dragon territory. Oh, this is gonna be good. Hmm, better luck next time and all that. Our game saved at the start of that encounter. So let's just take care of this Lyrium. And then let's give another shot at that dragon now that we have more health potions. For our frustratingly weak mortal frames. So it seems we can't save in this area currently. Let's maybe, once we're taking care of that, head back to camp, maybe get some more potions because we might need them. And then return. Because I feel good about our chances against such a frustrating beast. But I think with that, we come to the end of that particular Pick My Voice. Thank you so very much, Hayden, for requesting Cytaral. I have a feeling some more of her rage is probably going to come out if I take another shot at trying to defeat that dragon.
Let's head back quickly and just get some uh, regeneration potions and some other potions for everyone else. Potions. Dorian. Get some of those for you. Uh, I think Varric's got some poison. So let's get some regeneration potions for Iron Bull. I need to get more elf fruit. Yes. Uh, oh, how it is frustrating to be trapped in a bipedal form if you are so used to your magnificent splendor as a blue dragon. Cytaral's great. I love her so much. Just getting to write uh, and create a character that's just like so, so proud and so arrogant. But I know you guys will love her too. Looks like dragon territory. Oh, this is gonna be good. Dragon blood, very useful. Can everyone step out of the fire, please? Iron ball, that's why I got your regeneration potions. Hey, Baron Alistair, how's it going? Welcome back. Out of the way of their fireballs. Mm -mm. Still can't save. Damn it. That's okay. Let's give this another try, shall we? we are what level we're level 14 the dragon is level 12 we should be able to defeat it Bull's fine. He's used to this. Come on, come on. Oh, it's all good, Baron Alistair. Thank you so much for dropping by. No 
worries, Baron. Sorry about that. Oh, it was Anna that was heading out. No worries. Anna, I hope you have an awesome weekend. Sure that everyone's taking their regeneration potions that I gave them. Oh my fucking god. Are those red Templars? What are you doing here? Can't you? We don't need your bullshit right now. Fucking Templars. Okay. I'm going to take refuge under here. Well, you're saying a lot of shit for a dead man. Come on, where are you? I got you. Okay. Everyone of... Please avoid the fireballs if you can. Come on. Okay. I'm going to hide while it just sits up there and taunts us. Come on. Come on. Why are there red templars spawning where a dragon is? I swear. By all the gods! There we go. Your fucking regeneration potions, I swear to God. Okay, because we can't target the wings, so I'm trying to target like the back legs. Because they seem to kick off on the back legs when they're taking flight. Where's Dorian? Dorian keeps us alive, where is he? Varric? Varric, I have a very special mission for you. You need to keep me. Okay, it's just down to Iron Ball now. Come on. Yeah. 
Okay, I need you to get Dorian up, and then Dorian can get me up. Fuck! Stop that! God damn it. Okay, fine. Maybe I need to get a little bit stronger before I go after a goddamn dragon. I guess. But hey, at least I did that thing for Varric. So, maybe I'll just wait a little bit longer before going after more dragons. Like a responsible adventurer. Hmm. Alright. Let's head down this way then. Inquisitor. Yes, that's me, Inquisitor. I will come back to you later. Let's take care of some more Lyrium stuff. Salva hold a good question. I'm enjoying some Maker's Mark. Um, I felt more like a bourbon sort of whiskey than uh, a single malt tonight. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So maybe when we get to like level 16 or something like that, we'll go back and give another shot at that dragon. Red Templars. What's so important that Corypheus sent them out here? Some more Red Lyrium bullshit. Mm-hmm. Okay, magical barrier. That looks frosty, so that needs fire. Hell yeah. Ash Warrior's Refuge. And there's demons down here. Of course there are. Yeah, I'll leave you guys to kill the apostate that's down here. Uh, you, you guys have got this. You don't need me. Oh, look, and we completed a quest. Thanks, guys. I have to say, I, I do love just when you come back through the lighter, challenging um, areas, and you're just like, oh, everything's so nice and easy now. Fucking red lyrium. Iron Bull, I require your assistance. Red lyrium. Whoever this dwarf was, he was in over his head. Ooh, some more stuff for Bianca. That's always good. Honestly, I. Maybe because I'm more, I feel more comfortable when I'm away from the initial conflict. Um, so I usually play a, a rogue or a mage in this game. Um, I think I tried to play warrior once, but it just didn't feel like the right fit for me. If you know what I mean. Um, okay, so done those two. I can't get to the one on the storm coast yet. 
There's a lot of them. Okay, what does the map look like for in Place de Lyon? Oh, they're kind of all over the place. Um, hmm. I might come back here later. I might want to actually do... Why don't we go back to the war table? Because most people should have finished their homework by now. So we should be able to then send more people out to do more stuff for us. But I do like when uh, around Skyhold how things steadily develop over time. Um, like when you first arrive, this is all with scaffolding and everything. And then by the time like you get to this point in the game, you've got your throne, you've got beautiful carpets, these uh, banqueting tables everywhere. And just feels much more lived in. Although one thing I do have a little bit of feedback on. Um, I would have liked it just as an extra thing because you see all these NPCs milling about. Um, these are all Elysian nobility. This is just my personal two cents. I think it would have been a really cool idea if, depending on one, your character background, and two, what dialogue options you picked, um, that kind of inclined whether you're more inclined towards nobility or more um, Ferelden or the Dalish. So I think it would have been really interesting. Um, this is, of course, with a more of a modern sensibility when it comes to games in terms of like little things of uh, customization that could like add more impact. Um, say for example, uh, my character who's, uh, um, who's Dalish, instead, uh, over time you see more and more elves gathering in the, uh, the hall and, like, there's, uh, greenery on the wall in terms of vines. Of course, like, you have the option to, like, switch it around or turn it off or add your own customization, but you see more elf, uh, elven NPCs milling around this area as opposed to Elysian nobility. Like, it makes sense in the plot because you've saved the Empress, so of course a lot of Elysian nobles will want to, you know, pay tribute to you in court. But it's just like little things like that that I think could have added, like, each playthrough that little bit more of a unique touch to it. Oh yeah, and I always play Stealth Archer. In Skyrim, I, I try to play Warrior, and I get pretty far when playing a Warrior, but Stealth Archer, all the way, come on. And I really enjoy it as well. I like being very sneaky in the shadows. Okay. How's your homework, guys? A present for Bianca. I should have... Uh, okay, Liana. Uh, I should have had more faith in my agents. Of course, they track down Providence who had sought shelter from the Mage Templar conflict with a wealthy Navaran patron. He, we provided a brief description of Bianca, and uh, Provident adapted the design for a leaf spring stabilizer to suit one of her stocks. We were also able to secure his original designs for our own use in siege engines. More stuff for Bianca, good. A battalion for Sarah and Vertiel. We marched with that incident, although I have it on good authority that there were many closed-door meetings among Vertial nobility. Several useful names have sent uh, di diplomatic envoys, and potential future gains may be, be impressive. Do not tell Sarah I said so. Okay, Cullen, good, good, good. Uh, Josephine, yours took a bit longer, but you should be done. Yes, good, good, good. Finding Samson's weakness. Dagna has forwarded what she learned about Samson's strange armor. Her glee over her discovery is disconcerting, but uh, her information may prove invaluable. We should speak at your earliest con uh, convenience, Inquisitor. Excellent, Cullen. We will see you in your office in just a moment. Uh, let's do that memorial for Haven, though. Let's take care of that first. Ambassador Montelier. Although we have not always seen eye to eye, I believe that on this subject we will be in perfect agreement. I would like to build a monument at the site where Haven stood, as a memorial to all those who gave their lives defending the faith. Shall we work together to honour these fallen heroes, Madame Ambassador, from Marquis du Vellon? I'm sure I can get some volunteers from our ranks to help with construction. Absolutely. And there was another one for Josephine for her quest. What was it? To 
Welcome to my sister's wedding. Is it for Elden? Uh, let me just check my journal again quickly and just see what that one was specifically. Hmm. We'll talk to Sarah, we'll talk to Cullen. Uh, arrange a favor for uh, Judge Old at the war table. Okay. So it was for a judge. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, I had a quick look at my diary and I know what I need to do now. So where was this? This one? Any news on rifts beyond reach of the Inquisition? Yes. And it is... not good. Is it on the war table? Getting a judge's favour, that was it. Uh, okay, it's from Josephine. So I'll try and do Josephine's voice. Inquisitor. We must have an Olesian guy judge signed papers, formally, formally requesting we elevate the du Paraquettes into nobility. I have approached Judge Ault, who has requested a party of Inquisition soldiers to meet him in the Frostbacks for a hunting expedition. Some sort of rare spider, as big as a horse, the judge was telling me. Lives inside the ca caves a few days west of Skyhold. He would like an honor guard who knows the re mountains to show him the way. Send some scouts and officers to accompany him, and Judge Old will happily sign the paperwork we require. The commander has kindly found some soldiers we can spare to accompany Judge Old's hunting party. Inquisitor. I think I could do that voice a little bit better. It needs to be a bit higher, a bit clearer. I just need to get back into the flow of it. Um, so Colin's busy, Jos uh, Josephine's busy. We need something for Liliana. Is this one for Liliana or is this more Josephine's style? Oh no, it's good for Liliana. A fragment of Ben Hasrath information report. With Carolina now out of play, either Monette or Jean de Gaspard will be the next Duchesse or Duke of Leeds. Uh, Jean de Gaspard has made a strong claim with his fellow nobles for attacking Monette's youth and lack of experience in the game. For her part, Monette relies heavily on her chantry tutor, Mother Renette, who has rather desperately attempted to start a rumour that Jean Gaspard owes his birth to his mother's affair with a travelling Grey Warden. I've done some digging and the rumours about Jean Gaspard's parentage are true. Should we make that knowledge public? Inquisitor. I'll leave it in your capable hands, Liliana. Yeah, I heard that the multiplayer for this was not good. I've never once tried it myself. I prefer the single player experience. And from what I heard, Dragon Age uh, 4 is also focusing purely on single player. Like, they saw how the reception to this game's multiplayer was not good, to say the least. Um, so they have uh, focused on single player for the next one, I hope. I hope we're not going to get a surprise announcement saying, hey, now with multiplayer. Fuck no. No, please. Please. Ferriger, I'm doing well. Thank you. Hey. No red lyrium, no allies, and soon Samson will have no armor, I hope. You hope? Dagnus started work on her red lyrium samples, but she needs more details on the armor. We found orders in the mine. They mentioned Maddox name I did not expect to hear. Samson's letter said something about taking over as the vessel. Perhaps it's a rank among the Red Templars. It could be a title from ancient to winter. Or it's some other role Corypheus has planned for Samson, and Maddox is part of it. Did he serve with you and Samson in Kirkwall? Maddox was a mage in Kirkwall's circle. Samson smuggled letters between him and his sweetheart. Eventually, Samson was caught. That's why he was cast out of the Order. 
Maddox was made tranquil and became a skilled craftsman of magical items. Samson must have rescued him. Having an inside man among Samson's forces would be invaluable, if we could convince him. I couldn't say. I've lived around Tranquil most of my life, and I've never understood them. It seems Maddox built Samson's armor for him, and maintains it still. Tranquil and Kirkwall needed rare and expensive supplies for their enchantments. Supplies we can trace. I can have our men kick down some doors, Inquisitor. Samson's armor might lead us right to his stronghold. Hell yes. Like, I am just dying for any major news of the new Dragon Age game, because it's been years since this one came out. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore this game. But at the same time... When's the new one coming out? Like, Baldur's Gate 3, even though it's still in early access, is, is steadily filling that hole in my heart, and I love it. Very, very, very much. But... I really want Dragon Age 4 as well. And yeah, you can only replay it so many times, I agree. Where's Sarah? Yeah. And yeah, Colin is just like the most serious of golden retriever puppies. Like, we're not romancing him in this route, but he's such a darling. I love him. Sarah's cabinet of wonder whose it was. Delivered one cabinet suitable for a lady's curiosities if resources should be spent on such things from Sir Morris. Below, a comment in journal entries by Sarah. Also doodles of Sarah with her tongue out. Eat it, Morris. Stuff needs a place. Stuff. Banner. Circle. Soft. Lizard. Scratched out. Rough and weird. Hala. Fake. Real ones stink. Cards. Little worlds. Goblet. Fancy cup. Cup. Shit goblet. Bottle. Warden. Strong. Bottle. to Vinter. Piss weak. Uh, stupid sword. There's a small blood stain. Silk bolts. Not arrow bolts. Soft. Make something. Her mask. Big head. His mask. Tight face. Uh, Delon. Lancet corset lacing, snip boing, floppity. <laughs> a doodle of a googly eyed face with a particular mustache. That's, That's not a face. <laughs> Sarah! <laughs> I could never ask you to behave yourself, but. Oh my! <laughs> I think that minstrel Martin is chatting me up. The song is creepy. Sarah, I did what you asked. I hear Vachelle was good pay for you, Inquisitor. Time to go see if my friends came through too. Got a location for a stash. Hopefully something nice for my trouble. Well, your trouble. Just let me know when you're ready to head out. Be sure to bring your empty pockets. Alright, let's go. I'm ready if you are. Always, yeah. My favourite part, this. Let's go see what friends can get us. Alright. So, taking Sarah... Uh, I'm trying to think of people who are more laid back, so I think, uh, I don't know, Dorian. Fuck it, we'll take Iron Ball. No, I'll we'll take Dorian. They're the more laid back of, uh, our companions. I know Varric is also, but I wanted to also take someone that's a bit strong, just in case there's conflict. Ooh. Gigush, I absolutely agree. Remake of Origin. That would be amazing. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Quiet yourself. We're here to help. Help? Had enough help. I complain about a fight, and suddenly I'm an agent or something. You were the one with the rumor out of Vachelle. My friend. You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. Oh, fuck. This is a trap. Yay! Not gonna have any of that nonsense. Hold on. 
was not aware the Inquisitor was personally involved. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheathe our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. Hmm. So believe this piss bag. He started it. Oh. Let's have a talk, shall we? There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord mm. Pell Harmon. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. Oh, sorry about that, Furujo. I didn't realize you were the one who brought that up. Um, yeah, because sometimes it's a bit tr uh, tricky to keep chat, uh, track of chat, but yes, good. Uh, remake of Origin would be amazing. Yes, yes, yes. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me? Because apparently you were complicit. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies despite your foreign nature as inquisitor you are a social peer i attacked them on behalf of us both ass biscuit ah, quiet inquisitor herald i don't want to be your enemy i'm barely invested in being hers if you are willing to recognize an opportunity we could be exceptional partners No. I'm going to say no. The servants you killed, they did nothing except talk about what was going on. You killed my contacts. My friends. That is entirely true. Well, that should be that then. You're the one who empowered them, made their complaints a threat. Perhaps you should have warned them about talking to you. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. Sarah, you can take care of this. <laughs> uh, now, what was the point of that? Yes! Mother, puss bucket, friggin' bastard, right back, piss face. Eat it, you lop eared son of an arse not rot Sarah, or piece of. Sarah! Uh, what? I think you're done. At this point, you're making wine. Ah, that makes it worse. Friends, Inquisitor. Better than his lot any day. Hmm. Ass biscuit. <laughs> I love that expression. At this point, you're just making wine. When you just see your ally just stomping their head into the ground again and again and again. It's just like... Sweetie, he's dead. You? Hi. You know what? Thanks. Felt good to stomp the smile off that pisshead's face. It doesn't go bad like that often, yeah? But when it does, they deserve it. Risky. But keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that. Exceptions. Thing you're doing right there. Friends. We'll have some differences, but I want to be one of your friends. You're pretty big to be one of my contacts. Important, I mean, not fat. But all right, Inquisitor. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. Like, Sarah can be a little bit give and take. Like, some people really don't like her. But you know what? I like encountering her, like, sparingly. I don't really take her out in the field that much, but I like her quest and I like, um, our interactions. They're fun. Actually, I'm gonna have a quick chat with Cole just to see how he's doing. Just to see if there's any new opportunities for personal quests, maybe? Come on. He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. 
their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to hear, makes me a person, calls me kid, a friend. Solus, bright and sad, observes and accepts. Spirit self, seeing the soul, Solus, but somehow sorrows. It must be sad feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No. I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? I'll talk to you later. Okay. How do you know? I know because I like talking to you, Cole. Cole is another character that I really hope we get to see again in Dragon Age 4. Just because him being what he is, I could see a lot of uh, opportunity for him to like come up as a... Maybe not a character that you interact with on a regular basis, but like for a cameo. That would be really cool. Alright. Um, so Varix will take a while to do. And everyone else is doing their other quests, so let's do... Here lies the abyss. Whereabouts is that? Because that is like the main, main quest. Can I travel there? Okay, no. Let's travel here. And then set up some more camps, shall we? Okay, let's take Dorian. We'll take coal and iron ball. Actually, no, I want to take solace. Because we're, we're romancing. Do, do. How you guys doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. Uh, does anyone need to level up? Ooh, Cole needs to level up. Solace, you're good. Cole. Alright, so what's the best way? Okay, down and around seems to be the best way. But let's also set a marker there to set up another camp. Oh, yes, I would be very excited to see Hawk again, if that would be possible. But I think the character I would be most excited to see, and I think I talked about this uh, last week, was um, maybe seeing Zevran again um, in Dragon Age 4. That would be amazing. Of course, at this point, I just want news or like a release date. And I'm still of the mentality of I'm happy to for, to wait as long as I need to for a game to come out, so long as the wait is worth it. And the developers are working on the best game they can possibly make. But given how long it's been between games, like... It hurts. It hurts just a little. Okay, what's the best way? Uh, seems the best way is to cut through there, though. Mm. 
None of this should be here. That's fine. Okay, I thought that was a way to cut through the mountain, but my mistake. Let's just go down and then up. Okay, yes, I have vague memory of this, and I see I've already claimed that quarry up there, so I think I went down and then up. Because we should set up another camp. Like, honestly... Because some people have gripes or just like a preference, like they really don't like water levels. And water levels can get a little bit monotonous after a while. Um, but honestly for me, desert levels are what I find more frustrating, to be honest. Because it's usually just like the same like landscape, the same dunes again and again. Like there are variations in the topography. And map layout, of course, and maybe even like the color of the sand, depending on what like the region is that they're showing. But a lot of the time, it's just desert. It just looks barren and sad and easy to get lost in. Scrolled radio note Caravan of refugees drove off road, so we should collect, uh, so we could collect out of view of Imperial soldiers. Half died, but you could pick up the wounded. Boo. Okay, but uh, on a side note, speaking of like location, um, have you guys, if you play Pokemon, seen the trailer uh, slash teaser for the new Pokemon game, Scarlet and Violet? Because I'm very excited. Like, I, for me personally, I keep Switch games just for my own personal enjoyment. Um, like, I only play Animal Crossing with my family and so on, but... As soon as I saw that the region, the new region we're going to is inspired by Spain. Oh, I was excited. I was very, very excited because I love Spain. I've been lucky enough to have visited uh, a number of cities in Spain. And so upon seeing that, I was just, yes. Oh my God, yes. What are you guys' thoughts on it? Uh, which starter am I interested in? Uh, Spriggan. My, my little green kitty. It's so cute. I don't know what their evolved is. Please don't be bipedal. Um, but they, they look cute. They look very cute and fluffy. Like a, a mossy green kitty. Desert levels are just nothing. Water levels have at least some parts looking pretty. Desert though, it's just like, oh, you like sand? Do you want some more sand with your sand? Do you want a side ordering of sand and rocks with your sand and rocks? But yeah, I agree with water levels. Like you can have different regions where it's like, oh, you could do like a coral reef sort of area where it's like brightly colored and you see like different brightly colored enemies like designed after sea slugs or like clownfish and stuff or just tropical fish in general. Um, or you can have like an, an area that's like deep underwater and so you have to, like limited visibility and it's all bioluminescent uh, glowing fish or something like that. Whereas desert... It's just sand and maybe some shrubs if you're feeling spicy, but it's just sand and ruins and more fucking sand. Uh, so where do we need to go? I don't need that. Okay, we need to head south. Um, yes, let's just focus on heading south.
is because people just put giant planes of sand and nothing else. No cacti, no wildlife, no cliffs, no beautiful mesas. In real life deserts that are amazing to look at, but in video games they're just some sort of sand that Anchor Don't Complain Ark Scorched Earth gets, uh, gets points though. Um, I'm not familiar with arcs, but I'll take your word for it. Okay, one thing I will say that would elevate this to a whole other level is if this area did have a day and night cycle and then at night or at sunset especially, you got to see beautiful sunsets. Just like rich, beautifully colored sunsets. Or even one thing I find like just a stunning thing of nature is when you have those lightning storms um, that are really like intensely colored. Like you see those bright purple and red lightning storms along the horizon with bolts of lightning um, crackling down to earth. Just mwah. yes, yes, please. Just some more variation in terms of um, different areas to explore. And so it may not even be something that you can interact with, interact with, but just having that moment of here lightning in the distance, and then you like turn the camera and you see like a vista of a storm on the horizon or something like that. Okay. So, Hawk, Stroud, you were going to help me with some Inquisitor's shit. So help me. I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started the ritual. It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. I'll guard your backs. Thank you, Hawk. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. Mm. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice. You, I'm getting a sneaky suspicion you are a bad guy. I'm going to enjoy killing you, aren't I? Inquisitor! What an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Eremond of Virantium, at your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Wardens, this man is lying to you. He serves an ancient Tevinter Magister who wants to unleash a blight. That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the Wardens think. Wardens, hands up. Hands down. That's cheating. Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the Wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Even to Vinter. Hmm. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarell full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Oh, that demon army. Ah. Oh. I was wondering when the demon army would show up. You knew about it, did you? Well then, here you are. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. Oh really? They're now my master's slaves. Hmm, not this for long. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. Do you really want to see the world fall to the Blight? What do you get out of this? The Elder One commands the Blight. He is not commanded by it, like the mindless Darkspawn. 
The blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. He's a tool. As <laughs> for me, while the Elder One rules I love from you, the Iron Golden Bull. City, we, the Venatori, will be his god kings here in the world. Why would the Wardens try to kill the old gods? A blight happens when Dark Spawn find an old god and corrupt it into an archdemon. If someone fought through the deep roads and killed the old gods before they could be corrupted, woof, no more blights ever. The Wardens sacrifice their lives and save the world. That's madness. For all we know, killing the old gods could make things even worse. Well then, mm. it's a good thing I'm taking this demon army off their hands. Release the Wardens from the Binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No, you won't. The Elder One showed me how to deal with Stop that. Stop that. Yanka, the less you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the faith. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be. I've had enough of your bullshit. Yes, go run. I'll be back for you in a second. No one fucks with the Inquisitor. I refuse to listen to reason. You were correct. Through their ritual, the mages are slaves to Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Of course. Sacrificed in the ritual. What a waste. Eremons lied to the Wardens. They were trying to prevent future blights. With blood magic and human sacrifice. The Wardens were wrong, Fork. But they had their reasons. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Eremond fled in that direction. There's an abandoned Warden fortress that way. Adamant. Good thinking. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. Good, good, good. I just love it that that was over so quickly because I had that ability already charged. Grey whiskey, right wine, conscription ale, a bottle marked vintage, warden El, uh, LLL, uh, Griffin Wing Ale. Good, good, good. A letter found on a Grey Warden mage. Michan, I don't trust this ritual Clarel is talking about. Are you sure it's safe? Have you ever used blood magic? I don't care what the Chantry says. I doubt they'd approve of the joining if they knew everything about us. But my family fought to vinter slavers near the border. This Eremon sounds like everything that's wrong with the Imperium. I'll be waiting for you when you get back. If you can look at me in the eye and tell me that the rit this ritual is safe, I won't speak of it again. If not, just come back safe, please. I'm sorry. Okay, so we do need more power in order to do the next quest, but that's okay. Why don't we try and secure some more camps in this area? In the meantime. Ritual Tower. Many Tevinter structures litter the, litter the wastelands of southwestern Orlais. In the age before the first blight, the Imperium expanded through the south at an incredible rate, and the lands fathers from Min uh, Minrathus became home to a great many sites dedicated to magical experimentation, taking advantage of natural weaknesses in the Vale as well as the distance from the Archons, sorry, Archons oversight to try even more dangerous fields of study. 
As with Anar and Feraldin, the laboratories of Orle were set upon by the followers of Andraste during the uprising, and little remains of them now save crumbled stone, an excerpt from Empire and Imperium by Sister per uh, Petrine, Chantry Scholar. All right, where's the next camp we need to establish? Let's go there. Elegantly written note. Gentlemen, leave the wardens to their work. Concentrate efforts on the dragon from service. Uh, I just want to have a quick look at everyone's abilities because uh, Cole and Ironwall are good, but I just want to make sure that Solace can still heal people and bring us back to life. So I think you're all good. Oh, thank you so much, Hayden. I'll do that stretch check in just a second, Rosen. Actually, now's a good time. Oh. Ah, thank you, thank you. Ah. Needed that. Thanks for that. You're doing fine. There we go. Yeah, I, I really need those stretch checks tonight. <laughs> Good. Nice work, everyone. Hmm. Oh, and I leveled up. Alrighty. What can I get as a Rift Mage? That sounds fun. Firestorm, you summon flaming meteors raining down upon all enemies all over an area for the next several seconds. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds fun. Hang on. Bell strike can only be used at your location, but the cooldown is reduced whenever you take damage. Mm, I'm good. You cast Bell uh, Strike more easily, but the blow weakens your enemies, causing them to do less damage. The boulder summoned by Stone Fist now explodes on impact, weakening staggering nearby enemies. Stone Fist now deals additional damage against enemies with guard. Um, I like that first one. I'll save the Meteor one for a little bit later. And everyone else is good for levels. I think when I go back to um, uh, Skyhold, I might do a bit of crafting. Because there's some stuff that we got for Bianca that I should probably craft and then uh, level up Varric a little bit.
In honor of the wings of adamant, the brave griffins who gave their lives in service to keep the blight at bay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, is there any thing for Varric in this area? There is. Cool. Okay, screw it. Let's get Varric and we'll grab, uh, we'll destroy some of this red lyrium, shall we? Okay, Cole, you've been through enough seeing all those demons, so let's grab Varric. All right, and it's just this area to report, the left of us. And then we can go back to the other camp. Hold my hand. Oh baby, it's a long way down to the bottom of the river. Hold my hand. Oh baby, it's a long way down, long way down. If you get sleep, if you get nerves, cats gonna come in the morning, baby. Check the cover for your daddy's gun. Red sun rising up the baby. Lord's gonna come for your first born son. Says on fire and his heart is burning. Let's go to the river where the water runs. Wash him deep where the tides are turning. And if you fall, and if you fall, hold my hand. Oh, baby, it's a long way down to the bottom of the river. Someone was digging for things that should have been left undisturbed. Red Lyrium, I suspect. The ground here trembles slightly underfoot. Cassius, remind uh, your hirelings to leave that Elysian fop alone. With our red friends leaving the area, Servus expects more from the White Claw efforts. I'm not explaining to him that you let those raided idiots kill our best chance at actually getting that high dragon in reach. The dragon, you say? Hmm. Oh, Rosen, I used to sing like kind of karaoke style songs back in like 2020. I, I know that feels like forever ago now, but back before there was the heavy DMCA crackdown on Twitch, um, and I could get away with it a little bit more. I used to uh, sing a lot more, but I, I worry just with karaoke stuff of, get, of getting a copyright flag on my channel. And I, I, I would like to keep my channel. Oh, I imagine there's plenty of opportunities for like when things get a bit quieter um, at the camps and everyone's like bunking down for the night, then uh, this Inquisitor, she just starts singing softly, maybe a little bit melancholy, because she used to sing back with the caravels um, when she was traveling with the Dalish. Oh, also, I won't go into heavy detail, but I will just say that there might be some very nice shiny things coming to my channel that I've been working on. Well, not I've been working on, I've been uh, commissioning a very talented uh, artist to work on so there might be a little bit more polish to my channel coming soon so be sure to keep an eye out for that okay it's in there so I think the access, access area is down here man loading man that's an interesting idea discord karaoke stream maybe because, yeah, on Discord it is a lot more relaxed, and I don't have to stress about that so much. I'll think about it. Ooh, 
We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Who Wouldn't this? get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you what I'm feeling. Try to make you understand. Come on, you guys love that. <laughs> Louis, uh, S says get the Templars whatever they want. No question to ask, so stop asking. They want refugees and travelers, we get them. I will say one of the best things like I was able to do um, in 2020 thanks to the generosity of my patrons was actually get some proper goddamn singing lessons because i've been self-taught i was uh in choir uh in high school all throughout high school but i've never actually had any proper singing lessons so in 2020 i was able to afford to uh get some singing lessons and uh she was absolutely amazing as a teacher she helped me realize like my full capability in my range and get more confident in my singing voice so i feel less awkward when i spontaneously burst into song on stream like i i really try to not come across as too over the top when it comes to like spontaneously bursting in this into song sometimes on stream because i worry it comes sometimes comes across as maybe a bit obnoxious <laughs> But she really helped me to just feel more comfortable in my voice and just reassuring me like, no, no, it's okay. You, you can't, you can't sing. And she helped me like, uh, probably discover my range. But then also with, uh, discovering my range also made me realize I'm actually really quite good at singing like country music because I'm able to get like that, that twang right in my voice. Which also actually really helped with my, um, uh, with working on, like, uh, my voice acting as well. Oh, Hayden, you say that, but for the longest time, like, I was so worried about my singing voice because I was so worried that, um, like, I had in my mind, like, oh, I'm a good singer, and, like, I wasn't. And I know, like, I've got a pretty good singing voice now, but, like, a couple of years ago, I was just like, am I, can I actually sing? Am I any good? Because I didn't want to be that person who thinks they can sing really well when in reality they're just awful. Like, they can't hold the tune, they have no sense of pitch. Just because I haven't had any, like, proper... I hadn't, at that point, had any proper singing classes. But now, like, I know a little bit more. And I'm like, okay, I can sing. It feels good. Oh, thank you so much, Salva Holder. So we've got a fair number of areas. Let me just check something. Okay, so we need six more f uh, for that, for Varric's quest. But let me just count this quickly. Why don't we go to Empress de Leon and take care of this for Varric? Actually. Hmm. I feel like we should do that while we're here. Where are they though? They're actually not that far from where we are. Hmm. Let's come back here another time though. 
maybe when we're just trying to like expand our power a bit more let's try and do this for Varric tonight because we've done a bit more on the main quest but I still want to gather a bit more power before we uh, take the next step so let's try and do this for Varric and let's go to in place to Leon okay um, let's start out Yeah, shall we? And then we can just kind of zigzag our way down. Oh, Jen, well that well that begs the question. Favorite country song slash singers? Um, good question. Uh, I kind of I don't listen to a whole lot of like a full Nothing album. Full I usually like just grab a number of like uh, particular songs that just like uh, pop up on different playlists. I really like Delta Ray though. Um, she has an absolutely incredible voice. Delta Ray and... There's a couple of others that aren't really coming to mind, but... They're also amazing. Or it's like songs that are currently very popular, um, that are classified as like country music, that I just have a lot of fun singing. Hi and Bull, I require your assistance. Where is it? Steph, I was part of the uh, choir in primary school because my school wanted to double size the choir to look better. I was part of the group who stood at the back with unplugged. Oh no, Hayden, I'm so sorry. I was part of the group that stood at the back with unplugged head microphones and told not to be too loud. I know bad singing. Oh, I am so sorry. That is awful. No. I'm so sorry. I know, Baron, like, Red Leary was, like, warned as, like, super dangerous and, uh, toxic. Like, you shouldn't get anywhere near it. And Iron Bull just fucking comes up like a mad lad and just kicks that shit in. <laughs> and Varric's just standing there like, good. Good. Eh, I got an hour out of class three times a week. That was all I cared about. You know what? That is completely valid. I think, honestly, uh, one of the reasons that I was in choir in high school was for that similar reason. Um, because I think I got to go, like, leave one of my least favorite classes early to be like, Oh, I'm going to choir practice. And then, like, I would barely sing. Although, to be fair, our uh, choir master slash music teacher is the only teacher that I remember by name. I won't say his name, but he is the only one that I remember by name because he was actually very passionate about um, uh, teaching and really enthusiastic and encouraging people to like develop their voices. Like, I can't help but have a sneaking suspicion that... Oh. Oh, not having any of that shit. Like, because I vividly remember there was one time in music class, I think it was year 8, so maybe I was like 13 or 14, where each of us had to take it in turns to sing a song, or like half of a song on our own, just so that then the teacher could get an idea of what our vocal range was. And I vaguely remember, like, I, I do remember the song I sang, um... And I think some people enjoyed it, and they were kind of like, oh, why don't you take, like, classes? But because I was, you know, a fucking teenager and so riddled with anxiety that I could barely talk at times, um, I just, I didn't. I joined the choir so that then I could still be part of something and, like, get out of class a little bit, and, but still, like, kind of blend in with everyone else. 
please, Ironball, my valued companion, stomp on this piece of a radio to rock the size of a horse. And he just comes up, like, cracking his knuckles, like, you got it, boss. And Varric's just like, hell yes, and Solus is like, I, I'm somewhat concerned by this. Is this, sh are you sure this is a good idea, uh, Mavanan? And I'm like, yes. Yes, it is. Go. Oh, thank you so much, Hayden. I appreciate that. Ah, that's my mouse. Ooh, a lot of elf fruit up here. Good, because I was running low on it for my potions. Okay, I don't think we need to find all of the red lyrium uh, that we can interact with the, in the world. I think we just need to find a set amount of it. And then that's satisfactory to Varric because he's like saying, okay, yes. You guys are beating the shit out of all this red lyrium. Come on, I Where is it? There it is. Bonjour, everyone. I hope you are all doing well being encamped beside this irradiated rock. Good. That's what I like to hear. I think uh, end of last time I streamed this, we were in in place de Leon because I was uh, trying to free everyone so we can do Colin's quest. Yeah. There must be something here. Ooh, Elven Temple? Maybe? This looks sneaky and secretive. Although, Griffins, is this a warden thing? Uh, Valeska's Watch. I have marked areas of interest on the maps provided. I will draw particular attention to Valeska's Watch, an old grey warden outpost. It guards a deep roads entrance sealed after the third flight. Because of the entrance's size, the wardens fear Darkspawn would find a way through despite their efforts. Senior Warden Valeska recommended they build a fort over the, cl the collapsed tunnel, so wardens would always guard it. They did so for centuries. The Grey Warden's disappearance means Valeska's watch is now unguarded. If the seal over the entrance has degraded, Darkspawn may infest it. Be wary when entering this area. The flight is a slow death and one I would save you all from uh, save you all from suffering. A missive uh, from Liliana to Inquis Inquisition agents bound from from Priest to Leon. Okay, that looks like something I could come back here with a uh, black wall. For for now, we're just focusing on beating the shit out of Red Lyrium. <laughs> Is it up there? Yeah, it looks like it's up there. Dragon's Tower. Come on. 
Or is it down there? God damn it. Okay, fine. Uh, guys, where are you? There you are. Thank you for saving me, Mother Nun. Solus, save me, my love. There we go. Terror demons, I hate these. Come on, come on. There we go. Good, good, good. And then I'll increase our power as well. And yes, there we are. Okay, we just need two more, and I think there should be two more here. Okay, there's one more here. Actually, let's go to the Emerald Graves, because I think there should be enough. Yes, perfect. There's more than enough here to go around. Okay, what's the closest camp? Let's go to this one. There we go. And then if we knock out uh, two more Red Therium, then we should be good for Varric's quest. Sorry, just trying to adjust my seat a little bit. Ah, there we go. All right, what's the closest one? Let's head that direction first. Come, Mother Nun. Into the Emerald Graves we go. Oh, Hayden, perfect timing for a stretch check. Needed that, thank you. Oh, my shoulders are getting a little bit stiff. I'm looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow morning. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate check, Gigosh. Mm -mm. Oh, thank you for that. Now, is there a shorter way through this way or not? You have to take the long way around. Hmm. Fine. Okay, it looks like we'll take the slightly longer way, but that's okay. Emerald Wilds is my favorite area. Is this... Wait, is this the Emerald Wilds or the Emerald Graves? The Emerald Graves, that's it.
You're fine. That's what regeneration potions are for. Anything interesting in here though? James notes, August has made progress in the Exalted Plains. We are together in this, but Maker's Breath, how that irks me. That weapon, or whatever secret is hidden in those glyphs, is mine by rights. Maliphant trusts me most. Bah, he won't have it. Not while I live. Well, you're not going to be living for long. Because the Inquisitor is here. Oh, fuck, he's strong. Did we just jump down into the center of a mini boss battle? Like, I have no issue with this, but this is just... Of course I did. Of course I did. Shiny. What was that? Uh, the Glitting Darmelon. Okay, it's Great Axe. Iron Ball. Does that take your fancy? Ooh, yes it does. How does it look? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Got a lovely new weapon for you. Scribbled notes. Did you hear? Sister Costeau has fallen. I'm surprised it took so long. She was soft. Unfortunately, we also lost the rats we were going to send to Sel uh, Celadon. We may have to make sure this doesn't happen again. Galactic Emperor Batman, thank you so much for the nine month subscription. Hail, Seraph of Stories, the immortal emperor of the Galactic Dominion has resubbed for nine months. Hope you're doing well this day. I am doing very well and I hope you are as well. Thank you so, so much for nine months of support. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's good to see you tonight. How are you doing? The betrayer. Even Maferath, the betrayer, had, to par had a part to play. Who are we to say elves do not? From a sermon given by Sister Amity at the conclusion of the Exalted March of the Dales. Oh, that's charming. So it looks like the red lyrium is on the side, but we can go in there and explore. Hmm. Can you destroy that for me? Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, Varric, can you open that for me? Might have something shiny in there. Has a couple of shiny things I see. To Holmes notes, the shipments are prepared, and once again the rats from Watcher's Reach are getting in my way. One woman got far enough into my camp to look in the crates, scrounging for food no doubt. Sneaky little peasants. Perhaps traps next time? Well, she sounds like a right piece of work. But let's just focus on taking care of some more of this red lyrium, shall we? Oh, Samuel, you're too kind. Thank you so much. I have to say, I am very pleased with how my Valisleen turned out this evening. Do you prefer uh, Ferelden or Orle? I like Ferelden, but I have to say, the um, the aesthetics and the grand game of the Orlesians is very appealing to me. Like, I really, really like Orle. Knowing me, I probably wouldn't survive long if I was playing the grand game. Um, but there is something about like the whole thing about everyone wearing masks and having to use their wits uh, in their uh, climb for power and prestige. Maybe just because I played a lot of uh, Vampire the Masquerade back in Australia. But I, I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. Oh, I remember. I remember this area. Okay, it looks like we're just going back to an area that we already cleared previously, but I assume then there's some lyrium that we need to destroy here as well. Varric, can we take care of this for you to set your mind at ease? Hell yes. Alrighty. In that case, why don't we head back to Skyhold and we can just see how everyone's doing with their homework. Nonsense, Stephanie. I would expect you to become the Emperor of Orlais. Empress of Orlais. Oh, you you are too kind. You are too kind. I just worried that my um, impulsiveness at times and uh, my crass tongue would get in the way of things. Whereas it seems that all the Elysians, they, uh, while I consider myself relatively well spoken, I worry that uh, my more lackadaisical nature would get me into trouble. All right, let's just have a quick talk to Varric because we just completed his quest. Where is Varric actually? Because he's not here. Vivian, Dorian, Solis, Liliana, Josephine, Morgan, Morgan, Cole. Okay, that's special shipments in the undercroft. Where's Varric? Maybe he's busy with something and he'll talk to us later. I was just kind of like, oh, what's... Where's Varric? How do you think Sarah would fare in such a Legion games? Um, honestly, I think she would do... Oh, there's Varric. They're looking at assault options now in the war room. Thanks for coming. You did well, Varric. The Inquisitor is just who we need. Ah, oh, it's been great. Murderous wardens, archdemon attacks, 
plenty of blood mages and crazy Templars. Just like home. I know how much you hated leaving Kirkwall. This is the ass end of Thedas. You know they eat snails here? Still, I, I think I, uh, I need to finish this out. And if it weren't for me and Bartrand, none of this would have happened. So much for changing our lives. That's what happens when you try to change things. Things change. You can't always control how. Okay. Guys, what are you talking about? And guys, you're too kind to me. Like, who knows? Maybe if I had enough confidence and I was given a situation in which my eloquence and compassion and quick wits and deadly nature was given full force, who knows what would happen. To Adamant Fortress Inquisitor. Your specialists have my full report. Okay, good, good, good. Let's just take care of some other stuff first. Like, snails, aka escargo, it's, it's not that bad. It's not awful, but I wouldn't have it again, if that makes sense. It tastes a lot like mushrooms. Like, really garlicky, well-seasoned mushrooms. But very chewy. Alright, Josephine's quest is done. Getting a judge's favour. Okay, it's in Josephine's voice. I get to do Josephine's voice. Inquisitor. Judge Alder signed the papers. We need to present the two barricades to as nobility again. There is now only one step left. A royal minister must ratify them. Please, come see me when you have the chance. The judge passes on his compliments, by the way. Apparently, the hunt was a marvellous bit of sport, and our soldiers acquitted themselves bravely against something called a screaming man-eater. The infirmary reassures me the injured will make a full recovery. Josephine. A memorial for Haven, Ambassador Montillier. Please con convey my thanks to the Inquisitor. The Inquisition soldiers were of great help in clearing the area for the memorial's construction, and the sight of their uniforms raised spirits immeasurably. The monument will stand forever as a testament to the strength and fortitude of the faithful, from Marquise de Relion. Alright, uh, I think Liliana's still busy with hers. Yes, she is. Um... Ooh. Let's wait for Liliana to get back on that one. Um, I wouldn't mind speaking to Josephine first before sending out missions. Just uh, in case there's something specific she wants us to do. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these two parakeets to Lordship? We must persuade Minister Belize to ratify the papers. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis Wiscott. I'll get you an invitation. All right. Meet the speaker with Minister Belize at the party. Operation available. Perfect. I assume that's a Josephine one, so we will see. Like, speaking of French food, oh my god, I am just craving a pan au chocolat right now. Just, mm. I, I've been seeing them so much on TikTok recently, so I'm just like, god damn it, I want one so badly. Oh yeah. Speak with Minister Belize at a party. Ambassador Montillier, forgive the late reply. Hang on, I, think, I feel like I should do this in a French accent. Yep. Ambassador Montillier, forgive the late reply. Wonderful as it is to hear from you. I have just risen from trouble in the Dales. The civil war has made in managing my holdings even more difficult. It would be much easier if I had the air of the Council of Heralds. But alas, fortune has left me poor in that regard. The Inquisitor is always welcome at one of my humble fates. I only regret that it may not be as grand as I would like. Please, dear lady, promise me that you will warn her worship that my preoccupation will pre Procured a richer evening with my guests, with deep regard, Marquis Wiscott. The, Mar the Marquis is clearly fishing for an introduction to the council before you attend his party. I'll arrange one. A 
at your service. Good, 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 Josephine. And what was that one for you? There we go. Using Maddox as a lead, Cullen has begun to hunt down anyone providing equipment and supplies that Maddox might need for Samson's armor, lyrium, reagents, dwarven tools, and so on. Cullen is arranging patrols along roads and bridges for any sign of Samson's forces, trading and moving equipment. If the patrols leave right away, they should leave to Samson's headquarters. Inquisitor. Perfect. Okay, while you guys do your homework, I'm just going to quickly go to the Undercroft and craft some stuff. Uh, we're going to be going for a little bit longer tonight, guys, just because those missions are relatively short. Um, so maybe when Josephine's mission is done, we'll be able to do the next bit of her quest. Um, and then I think we'll call it a night there. So maybe another 20 minutes or so. Hmm. Okay, let's put that one away. So a lot of stuff that we can just probably put away because we're not needing it. But let's just do a quick check of everyone's armor. Let's check my own first. Okay, this is superior battle mage armor. So yes, let us do that. Already looking good. So it's my superior enchanter mail. I think we can maybe go to Solus. Okay, yes. I'll change the colouring, of course, but it's looking pretty good. And... Okay. Okay, I really like the one that I picked out for, um... Uh... Varric. So let's give that to Cole, and I'll improve the colouration, of course. Uh, weapons. Do I have any better weapons for people? Mm, I think that'll be better for black wall. Oh, your mace is already really cool and badass. So I think you're good. And actually accessories. How's everyone doing for those? Oh, I'm going to give that to iron ball actually. That increased potions belt, because you need more health potions. Solace, do I have better stuff for you? Okay, good, good, good. Give that to you. Vivian, you need some better rings, darling. Um... Something better for fire resistance. Uh, Dorian, where are you, darling? Actually, that health one is probably better for you. Uh, Cassandra, I'll give you one for electrical resistance. And then I might sell most of the rest of this unneeded stuff and... Sell the Venatori helmet because I'm not having anyone dressed in that. Sell those off and just colour my armour a little bit so it's a bit more befitting of me. Alrighty. So, I quite like the silver samite on the arms. That looks quite nice. But let's try and colour that leather a bit more interestingly. I quite like the dark brown, to be honest. Although the black is quite nice. Why don't we go and we do the cloth first? 
Because I do like seeing my Inquisitor in blue. That beautiful royal blue. Silk brocade. What's that coloration? I think that's for the trousers. Oh, it's for the lining. Let's do the main leather part first then. Because I have to say, I do quite like the brown though. With the bear hide. Just ignore the mask, but... I think that just looks pretty good. And Solace, I was going to colour your armour as well. Was I going to do Cole's? I think I was doing kind of uh, colour Cole's armour. So it's a bit more in keeping with you. You usually wear more understated colours. Like simple cottons and leathers. Although, actually, the lamb's wool looks quite nice. Helps you blend in a bit. Okay, and the cloth. The red's a bit too flashy. Although the lustrous cotton looks quite nice. For a bit more colour. Definitely not the plaid weave. No, no, no. Actually, no. Velveteen looks nice, I think. And some Bronto hide for the leathers. Yeah. Oops. And Solace, I was just going to colour your armour a little bit. Because we don't often upgrade everyone's uh, armours. Because I usually don't come across uh, high level stuff. But let's just colour that a bit more to your style, shall we? Lamb's wool looks quite nice because usually you prefer greens and browns. So let's go with the lamb's wool, shall we? And then leathers. Let's go with the bear hide. And metals for the arm guard. Simple iron, I think. There we go. And I was also going to craft uh, something for... Varric. Uh, can I craft the Bianca improvement, maybe? Masterwork study Bianca grip. Did I already equip that? Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, let's make that out of Dawnstone and something nice. Uh, Sunder on hit, critical chance. What do we have in abundance? Yeah, let's do Nug Skin. Steady Bianca grip. And crop that out of Bear Hide for more decks for you. And. Motions, quick motions, modified weapons. Do, do, do. Where is Bianca? There we go. Now we have this, but do we have. Oh, both of them are kind of the same, to be honest. Actually, what we have already now is quite good. Although the deadly limbs that I made are better. So let's craft that for Bianca. And I think we're good. Do I have any special shipments? Nope. All good. Oh, take care, Jen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Alright, we haven't gotten anything back that uh, Josephine's returned. Okay, so we do need to speak to Countess Dion uh, in Valroyal. 
And we need to wait for Colin to get back for that one. Why don't we have just like a quick look around to see if everyone else is doing well while we wait for Josephine to get back. Actually, Varric, how are you doing? Because we finished your quest. Hey. Is this a bad sign? I can come back. No, it's all right. Bills are really not that engrossing. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. Oh, really? I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed the chosen one before. Eh, just, just be my friend. It's all good. I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. I can't be bigger than myself. There's no way I can be bigger than myself, Varric. Sure you can. You don't see yourself like they do. The sky tears open, demons everywhere. To ordinary folk, these are the end times. The only hope they have is you. You're the sign that somebody might hear their prayers. That maybe they're not abandoned after all. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked. Please don't sing. Please don't tell me you're going to burst into song now. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not that cruel. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Absolutely. Fuck yeah, I'm up for a game of Wicked Grace. Okay, I'll leave you to your work for now, and maybe let's go speak with Cassandra, see how she's doing. Oh, Samuel, it's all good. Honestly, it was just like us zigzagging across the map trying to get rid of Red Lyrium. And uh, there wasn't like a whole ton of cutscenes or anything like that. Hey, Cass. Something is troubling me, Inquisitor. Oh, really? Eliana is receiving reports of mages becoming possessed. Templars going rogue. No one is dealing with these matters. I was hoping we might, before they get worse. We can certainly look into it. I will mark these incidents on the map as I learn of them, Inquisitor. And I would be pleased to accompany you if and when you investigate. Do you have any advice for me? Treat Dorian with caution. It's possible he could be what he seems. A Tevinta mage wishing to do better than his countrymen. What if he is not? At best, his presence makes the Inquisition appear to have questionable allies. Do you have any advice for me? Hmm. Watch the treasury carefully, with that Sarah present. You think she's here to rob us? Possibly not, but I would hardly put it past her. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Like, Gigush saying, Varric's voice is so, like, for, for me, very comforting. Like, he just, his voice always sounds like he's, like, three to five drinks in. And he's just so chill, and he's just like, yeah, we can just, like, talk about anything that comes to your mind, kid. Like, but it's always just very comforting for me. And Wicked Grace is essentially, like, from what I can recall, the equivalent of, like, poker uh, in this world. Solace, I haven't spoken to you yet, my love. How are you? We must stop the Wardens from carrying out this insane plan, Inquisitor. To seek out these old gods deliberately. In some bizarre attempt to preempt the blight. They won't succeed. We're going to stop them together. Thank you. I've been on my own for so long. It's difficult to get used to having the support of others. Those fools and duty. Responsibility is not expertise. Action is not inherently superior to inaction. Forgive me. The entire idea is unnerving. I will do my best. Just Calm down, Mavanan. It's it's fine. It's fine. We'll take care of this. He's just very emotional about the concept of them going in and killing all gods. I have no idea why. I'm told you have Alexius researching magic for you. Mm -hmm. Research is always what made him happiest. Perhaps I'll even go talk to him eventually. One word of advice. If he suggests altering time as a way to solve all your problems, <laughs> give it a pass. Hmm, good plan. 
It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Hmm. Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. What did you mean by generations of careful breeding? The great families of Tevinter don't have children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. Mm. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. All right, I'll leave you for now. I should go. As you wish. We love you, Dorian. <sighs> Quickly turn in research. Actually, I haven't spoken to Liliana in a while. Let's see what she's doing. And then maybe I'll check in with the war table and see how uh, everyone's doing with their missions. Liliana, where are you, dear? There you are. Come on, guys, let me through. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? <laughs> when Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. Okay. Hayden, since you asked, you don't have to answer directly answer Steph, but have you already made your choice for the divine? Honestly, every single time I've played this game, I've always selected Liliana as the divine. Because I just think Cassandra would slowly be driven insane with frustration being divine. Liliana, she can send out operatives, she can use her wits and intelligence and uh, keen insight and uh, skill at playing the grand game to her advantage as divine. Whereas Cassandra, she's more of a woman of uh, action, she comes out on the field with you. And so I think the, uh, the idea of being divine for Cassandra sounds like a nightmare. Being fussed over being stuffed into robes, like, and being wandered around as a display of the Chantry's power and majesty and might. No. I think that would just slowly drive Cassandra insane. <laughs> oh, thank you for the stretch check, Rosen. Vivienne is also an option, actually. That's interesting. I think, like, I haven't really played an option uh, through with her being seated as the divine, but who knows? I think with this run, I, I'm still gonna go towards Liliana, but Vivian's also pretty great. Okay, track down Samson, Inquisitor. We track Samson's remaining Red Templars escorting a supply caravan to a hidden location in the wilderness. It could be his headquarters. I expect verification before the hour is over. I've already begun preparing a squadron of soldiers to accompany us. Allow me to debrief you in person when your duties permit. From Commander Cullen. Speak with Minister Belize at a party. Inquisitor, I have the time and place for the Marquise's party. You must find a way to speak with Minister Belize privately about ratifying the Duparaget's return to nobility. It is the last step we need. She holds the success of this entire endeavor in her hands. Josephine. 
Okay. Uh, Liliana's currently busy. So let's send the others out on some other missions, shall we? Okay. Many of the nobility of the Elysian capital have settled their secondary differences and are rallying behind two families, the Desrosiers and our old money, well respected but viewed as traditional and stubborn. The Tibalts rose with the popular merchant consortium and are considering new money and progressive. Sorry, considered new money and progressive. While the intent of both families was to rival us politically, if we declare for one of them, we may manipulate events in our favour. Lord Perrin de Rosier has not asked for our allegiance, but may respect our rising might. Lady Valise de uh, Tybalt speaks of for investors and are interested in forward-thinking alliances. We certainly have the forces that is a simple demonstration to make to the de Rosiers. I can draw a number of agreements that tie us little beyond ceremony uh, that will gain the initial interest of the Tybalts. I think Collins is more interesting. All right. And Josephine... Some of these are just like getting resources, so let's see what's over for Elden. Uh, that's more of a Liliana sort of quest. Uh, was that more for one for? Yep, that was more for Liliana. All right, a passage, uh, a page from Travels of uh, a Chantry Scholar lies on the table. This passage, passage is circled. The region between Lake Celestine and the shores of the waking scene is known as the Heartlands, a place of vineyards and gilded marble estates the locals refer to as cottages. It is often said that Orlaise's heart, uh, Orlaise's heart is plated with gold, so it seems fitting that the Heartlands are perhaps the richest place outside of Alfoyo. A note is written at the bottom of the page. Comme de Maurier et Marquise comme uh, Cortemonts, both spending money like water, which to pursue. Truth or dare, Lake Celestine. Come to Moya is a distant relation of the Empress. We should speak with him first. Good, good, good. At your service. But let us have a quick work with, word with Josephine, because I think we might be able to travel to Val Royal and take care of her quest. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakas to Lordship? We must persuade Minister Belize to ratify the papers. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The Minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis Wiscott. I'll get you an invitation. Okay. All right, go to the Marquise's party, speak with Countess Dion in Val Royal. So I think we can do... Okay, let's go to Val Royal and speak to this individual first. And then we can attend a party. Actually, let's take Solace, I'm curious. If he has any interesting insights. What do you think of Corypheus as the main baddie? Um, interesting. As I haven't played the previous games, I think... Uh, I... I just see him as, like, big... Big, big bad. Uh, as opposed to a character with a lot of like additional depths, but that's just me personally. Uh, bonjour, Madame. Really? I never heard that. Here's a letter from Ellery. He's safe with his family in the Dales. Oh, my Ellery. 
Oh, bless you. The Dions will sponsor the two parakets as a family deserving of a noble title, Inquisitor. You have my word. Now, please, forgive my hastiness, but I must read Eloli's words. Make her keep you. You are most welcome, madame. And now we have a party to attend. Uh, Josephine attempted to reinstate her family as a trading power in Orlais, which triggered an assassination contract taken out more than a hundred years ago by a family known as the Du Paraquettes. Despite the contract's age and the fact that the Du Paraquettes are no longer nobility, the contract is still binding. A group of assassins honoring the contract, called the House of Repose, won't rest until Josephine is dead. Let's head to this party then, shall we? Should be an interesting night. I played a, a good couple of hours of Origins. I just couldn't quite get into the flow of it, unfortunately. But we'll do Josephine's quest and then we'll wrap things up for the night. Don't worry, baby, I got this. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? The Duparakets used to be noble. You'd be restoring an old house of Orlais. <laughs> restoring it far too late. What are the Duparakets now? Traders? Farmers? Really, it is too much. The very thought causes me pain. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? Hmm. Connections beyond Orlais, perhaps? Diplomatic connections that reach far beyond the boundaries of Valreo, perhaps. Hmm. I might make use of your ambassador. The Montilliers aren't what they were, but at least they're from proper stock. Arrange for me to be introduced to the court of Antiva. I hear winter is most pleasant by their sea. Very well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain? I shall raise the Duparakets into lordship. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Let's have a quick word with Josephine then, shall we? Mother Giselle said the maker is acting strange. I see, chat, you're suggesting there was a romantic a thing I could do say? with her, but so I couldn't see that prompt. I must return to Valrayo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. Yes, let us do that quickly and then I think we'll wrap things up for tonight. Oh, I see. So if you're already romancing Josephine, then you get the prompt to do something romantic. No worries. We're currently romancing Sola, so that makes sense that we didn't get that. Maybe only if you play as a male. That also makes sense as well, like, considering the preferences of the NPC and all that. Alright, I'm just going to save quickly, just in case things go really badly for us. Cutscene? Yes. I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. 
They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer? Bards entertain the Orlesian courts. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. Interesting. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university no. in Valroyo when I way. learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. God damn it. I hate it when... I wish I could unequip that during these scenes, but that's fine. You seem a bit... steady for such an outgoing lifestyle. <laughs> the life of an entertainer didn't suit me at all. During one particular intrigue, I encountered the bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll oh. always wonder who that young man would have grown into. Thundernips, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you're welcome to the Blue Rose Respite anytime. I hope you're enjoying yourself tonight. We're all having a great time here at the Blue Rose Respite. From bard to diplomat is quite a change in direction. I was headed down that path for some time already. That night merely crystallized it. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. You saved your family with this. Hold on to it. Don't lose sight of why you came here. I will never forget you helped save the House of Montillier, Inquisitor. And should you ever visit Antiva, stories of the welcome we'll give you will be told for years. Oh. We did it, guys. We did Josephine's quest, and it was wonderful. Like, definitely when you uh, have Josephine as... Uh, uh, your romance option in this game. Uh, there is a lot more cutscenes, a lot more uh, intimate uh, touching moments with her. But I love Josephine so much. This was great. This was great. <laughs> but I think this is a good spot uh, to wrap things up for tonight as it seems that uh, NPCs are busy clipping through walls and all that. So let's head back to Skyhold and then I think we'll wrap things up for the night. Because then we can set the next thing to do as Cullen's quest, maybe. When uh, the graphics get a bit weird or the game bugs out like that, I'm just like, I just roll with it. Unless it's in a cutscene, then I get a little bit annoyed because I'm like, oh, but I want to see everyone's reactions. I want to see their faces. But I think this is a good time to wrap things up for tonight. So let me just save again because I'm paranoid like that. But thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. I hope you had a wonderful time. We went a little bit longer than usual, but I love this game so much. You guys already know that. Um, and I hope you all had a fantastic night tonight. We had a number of amazing new followers. So thank you all so much for joining my archive and becoming my lovely Lost Tales. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, 
Please consider following. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You're welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my other socials that are in the chat that are popping up now, including my Twitter for important updates and other fun things. My YouTube for my ASMR tales. I have one coming out tomorrow for a much requested character is uh, getting another chapter. And my Instagram for lovely pictures. Um, there is something else that's coming out or being announced uh, tomorrow morning. So be sure to keep an eye on my socials for that. But thank you all so very much for joining me. To everyone uh, who is in the credits right now, uh, thank you all so much for renewing your subs and all that good stuff. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Who should we go say hi to? Let's go say hi to Zora and the Bear again because they are wonderful and amazing. So please give him plenty of love from the Blue Rose Respite. You guys know what to do. Um, but thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a fantastic weekend ahead. Be sure to keep an eye out for my new ASMR tale that's coming out tomorrow. And I will see you on Sunday for my Soothing Sunday stream. Excuse me. Um, I'm still deciding on what game I want to play. So again, keep an eye on my socials uh, for that. Um, there is a game that I have in mind, but I just want to test it out just a little bit more just to uh, make sure that it's a good fit for my Sunday streams. But thank you so very much. Quick last stretch check from Rosen. Uh, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. And I will see you guys on Sunday uh, back here at the Blue Rose Respite. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, guys.